Hey guys, Chubbs here, back again with another Doom tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to create a really cool looking water effect using Warping Flats. So first of all, I'm just going to show you guys this basic map that I've set up for us here. So we'll go ahead and enter visual mode. And as you can see, we just have a small circular outdoor area with a player start. And then ahead of the player start, we just have a small pond. The pond, as you can see, is currently using the F Water 1 texture. And that's just the basic water effect that you've always seen in Doom 2. But we'll be using this as a base to create our very own cool looking warpy water texture that you saw at the beginning of the video. So to show you guys just how easy that is to do, let's go ahead and exit visual mode. And most of our work will be taking place in Slade. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this map in Doom Builder, but I'm going to leave uh, Doom Builder open that way we can come back to it. So I'll just go up here to File, and I'll click Close Map. And the reason I did that, really the main reason is because if you have your map open in both Doom Builder and Slade, sometimes when you make changes and you try and save your map, if it's open in both of them at the same time, you'll get errors and it'll create conflicts. And it's usually best to close the map in one if you're going to be working with it in the other. That's just a, a good thing to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and tab over to Slade. And we'll open our map in Slade. You could, of course, always go up here to the open shortcut, but... What I'm going to do, since I've already opened this map before uh, when I was doing a test on it, it's available down here under Recent Files, so I'm just going to open it that way. So I'll go ahead and double click it down here to open it. And now that our map is open in Slade, we basically will be taking two separate steps. So first of all, we need to create our very own custom texture using F Water 1 as the base. And then we need to animate it or specify how it animates. So we'll be doing those steps separately. So let's do the first step, which is creating the custom texture that uses F Water 1 as the base. So to do that, we'll first of all go up here to the uh, new entry icon. It looks like the letter E on a piece of paper. We'll click that. And here's where you basically type the name of the entry, or in our case, the name of the lump. So we're going to be creating a new textures lump. So in all capital letters, I'm going to type textures and click OK. And once you've done that, go ahead and click your textures lump and come up here to the up arrow and click it until the entry or the lump is at the very top above everything else. So now with the lump still selected, let's go over here underneath entry contents and click view as text. So this will allow us to go in here and type the information that we need to and actually edit the lump. So when you're creating a new texture, there are all kinds of different options you can use, but we're going to keep it really simple. We're really just going to stick to the basics. So um, F Water 1 is a flat, and if you need to see a list of all the like different flats that you can use, you can go to your Doom 2 iWatt. I've already opened it before, so it's here under Recent Files. You can open it in Slade, just like we've done here. And then down here where it says Show, you can click this sort of drop-down menu, click Graphics. And then if you look here at this Type column, right now it says Graphic, and then uh, in parentheses, Doom. But if you scroll way down, as you get near the very bottom, it will change to say graphic flat. So this is where you can sort of go through and see all of your flats. So uh, here you can see the different nukage flats. Here's our F water flats. So you can see F water one through F water four. That's sort of the, those are the different frames of animation that it uses by default. Uh, you can see the blood flats, uh, lava flats, but you can see all the flat names here. So if you need to have something as a reference to know what the exact flat names are, you can just open your Doom or Doom 2 iWads right here in Slade and, and access them that way. But now that I've showed you that, let's close the Doom 2 iWad. Let's get back to what we were doing before. So the first step here in our uh, textures lump 
is to just type the word flat. And I'll start it with a capital letter. I don't think you need to, but I just do that out of habit. So we'll just type the word flat, space. Next, you want to type the name of your custom texture. And since this is your very own texture, you can really name it anything you want. Now, I do believe that the name has to be uh, eight, can, or I should say the name can only be up to eight characters long, so try to abide by that. Uh, since we're going to be, be making a really cool looking water texture uh, that's brand new, I'm just going to call this New Water. I'm just going to type it in all caps like that, New Water. So that's within the eight character limit. And then we'll type a comma, space, and next you're going to be typing the width and the height of this texture. Now F water 1 is 64 by 64, so we're going to be sticking by those same exact uh, dimensions. So I'm just going to type 64 for the width, comma, space, and then 64 for the height. Now that we've specified the name of our new texture and its dimensions, we're going to press enter and we're going to type an opening and a closing curly brace. And then I'm going to go in between those uh, curly braces. I'm just going to tab over. And here's where we're basically going to tell it what exactly this new texture is. So first you type the word patch. And again, I'm just going to start it with a capital letter. Space. And in our case, since we're using F Water 1, which is already in Doom, all we have to do is just type that name. So this is basically like the graphic that it's pulling from. So we're going to type F Water 1 because that is the name of the water flat we're pulling from. And to show you guys that again, I'm just going to open up the Doom 2 WAD real quick. Go to Graphics. Scroll way down here to where the flats are. And you can see F Water 1 is the exact name. It's important that you get it exactly right. And you can see that is the first frame of that water animation. That's what we're going to want to have. So that's the graphic that it's going to be using. Comma, space. And next, instead of width and height, these are basically like the... Uh, this, this is where you're going to be defining the X and the Y origin. In our case, we're not going to be making any changes to this, so we're just going to type zeros. So we'll do zero, comma, zero. And that's it. We are completely done now with the textures lump. So to do a quick recap here of what we have created, we have made a custom texture. It is a flat. We have named it New Water, and we've specified that its dimensions are 64 by 64. And the reason we chose those dimensions, again, is because those are the same dimensions as the original F Water 1. Now we've come down here, and we have said that this, this brand new texture consists of the graphic of F Water 1, which is already in Doom. And we've not made any changes to the offset of, of its, uh, you know, X and Y origin. So the graphic will be aligned just as it is already in the, in the original game. So that's all we, all we have to do. So if we were to save this and put it in our map right now, all that we would basically get is just, the, just that one frame, just F Water 1, and it would just be a still image. So that obviously is not going to cut it for water. We need to give it the really cool looking warping animation. And that's where the second lump is going to come into play. So now that we're finished with this lump, let's go back up here again to new entry. Click it. And this second lump that we're going to make is going to be called anim defs. Or it's almost like animation definitions. It's like a, a short... Uh, it's like a shorthand form of that. So it's capital A-N-I-M and then DEFS, D-E-F-S. So animation definitions. And then click OK. And it already put it down below textures, which is good. Uh, if, it, if you were to make a new entry uh, with that name and it put it at the very bottom, you would want to click it and use that up arrow to move it to the top. But uh, it's... As long as it's above our map information here, we're good. So it placed it right there. That's fine. So I, I went to select it there, and it's asking us if we want to save our changes. 
uh, we do want to save those so make sure you click yes if that pops up if you don't click yes then all this stuff that we typed will go away and that's not good you'll have to type it all over again so now that we have made the anemdefs lump let's click it and again let's click view as text and that way we can actually type the information that we need so this is going to be much simpler than the textures lump all you have to do here is first type the word warp or you can do warp 2 and in our case warp 2 is actually going to be better and I'll come back and explain this here in just a second so I'm going to type warp 2 without any spaces and then I'm going to do you can either do space or tab I'm just going to do a uh, tab next you will type the uh, word flat tab and now you need to type the exact the exact name of the flat that you want to warp so if we go back to our it's asking us if we want to make save our changes we'll click yes if we go back to our textures lump you can see that uh, the custom name that we chose was new water so in our case we want to type we want to type that exact name and that way it knows exactly which flat to warp so I'm going to type new water and that's all there is to it now there is one more parameter that you can add uh, if you do another space or another tab you can add a float value here that determines how quickly it warps from what I've found based on the test that I've run 1.0 is basically the default speed so if you want to make it like double the warp speed you can do 2.0 if you want to cut the warp speed in half you can do 0.5 but this is just an optional parameter uh, I'm really not gonna mess with it here I'm just gonna remove it but if you want to mess with the speed of the warping animation you can do that so to uh, do a quick recap here of our anim defs lump first we typed warp 2 and this basically tells it to uh, perform that warpy animation and I'll come back to the two here in just a second after that we typed flat that way it knows that it's going to be dealing with a flat which is basically a, a texture that just goes flat on the ground and finally we typed new water because that is the name of the custom flat that we made over here in our textures lump so going back to the warp 2 basically the difference that I found is that warp 2 has a has more of a watery look to it than just plain old warp but uh, if you want to you can mess around with them both I'll show you guys a comparison right here so you can sort of see what they look like and it's really more personal preference but to me warp 2 is better if you're going for a water effect so I'll change it back here to warp 2 in our anim defs lump so we are totally finished so we'll go up here I always have trouble knowing which icon to click to save all this uh, I guess I'll click save all seems like sometimes I'll click one of those icons and it won't save it and then when I go to close it out here in Slade it'll come up and ask me again if I want to save even though I've already clicked the save icon so don't know why that is but make sure that you have uh, see it just came up and asked me if I want to, if I want to save even though I just click save I never have been able to figure that out so if it asks you uh, you know if you want to save make sure you click yes because you don't want to lose any of your changes but now that we have made our custom texture and we have told it to warp here using the anim devs lump we are ready to go so let's go ahead I'll click this close icon just to make sure we don't have any conflicts over in Doom Builder and uh, again like I said if it ever asks you if you want to save changes click yes so I'll tab back over to Doom Builder we'll go to file I'll open up our map let's hop back into visual mode let's highlight our pond and I'm going to bring up the texture list and right now we just have the default uh, F water 1 Doom 2 texture but if we go here uh, over to our texture panel you can see that it's pointing us to our brand new water effect and now we can choose that 
And here in the editor, you're not going to see anything. But when you hop into the game, you're going to get that really cool looking water effect when you play. And I'll go ahead and show you guys some of that footage now so you can see what it looks like. All right, so that's all there is to it. So you really just create the textures lump and the anim devs lump, and then the game does all the work for you. You don't have to do any sort of crazy work in Photoshop or any scripting. It's just all taken care of for you, and you get a really cool looking end result that, in my opinion, looks far better than the default water that you would normally see in the game. So I hope this has helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching. This is Chubbs, signing out.